Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, finally got everything fixed uh, between my uh, virtual machine and my recorder and now everything is working fine so it's time for a review. First off, I'm going to start out with the new Bitdefender Total Security 2012 Beta. It's the newest one. So I went and downloaded it, installed it, took a while to install. Um, it's a very early beta so it's got a decent amount of bugs in it but uh, at least I want to show you guys everything. So this is the main user interface. So you have your antivirus and if you click the little thing here, hold on a sec, I'm getting a phone call. Alright guys, finally done with the phone call. Anyway, so you have your antivirus thing here, your module, you can uh, diff do different scans and it kinda tells you what it is. Uh, this rescue mode looks kinda interesting vulnerability scan. It's kind of nice that it gives you a quick description of what it means. I might have to use this rescue mode. We'll see. Then you have your uh, firewall. You can click on it and uh, it'll give you the network details. So you can see, you know, uh, incoming, outgoing, network type, stealth mode, generic. Uh, I haven't messed with any of this stuff anti-spam update I just updated I'll show you if you click the little arrow here you can go to the next uh, panel or you can just select and hold and drag yeah parental controls I really don't care about uh, encrypt and you, you can shred files or uh, add to a file vault if you want to keep your files safe box um, this is another one of those um, where it's basically like a backup. You can synchronize your stuff to a special area of your hard drive or online, I think. Actually, no, it's all online, sorry. Um, you have your tune-up, you can optimize. That's pretty, you know, standard fare. You can look at your network map. And that's it really on this section. If you click on settings, you get another window that opens up. And here you can change um, the different settings. You can password protect, laptop mode, proxy, your antivirus stuff here. Um, this is how it comes standard where you can click custom and you can turn on and off different things. Anti-spam. So you can different uh, heuristics filter, link filter, parental controls. This is just basically what we saw up front but with a little bit different um, stuff added to it. Now this has something called intrusion detection system, um, IDS I guess, and it comes off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it with it off and on. I wanna see how it does with it off first and then I'll turn it on and turn it to normal. Now we'll see if they'll turn this on in the um, regular version when it finally comes out, but I want to test both to see how it does. So you can see it's there. Let's uh, check out RAM usage here. Kind of give us an idea. That'd probably be a little bit higher than it normally would be. That's not too bad. 17 megs, not bad at all. And I do say I like the new interface a lot more. Their old interface just sucked really bad. This one's much, much nicer. So uh, let me drag in my links here. Let's open up Internet Explorer. Now my computer is running a little bit slow and I think that's because um, okay sure never seen that before um, because I haven't defragged the hard drive the virtual hard drive so everything's all just kind of thrown around in there once I usually do that it tends to speed up so I wonder what's uh, why it's running so slow. 
bit defender seems to be taking up a decent amount of uh, CPU. If I can click on it, well, you can kind of see right there. It already spiked up to 100 megabytes. For what, though? And then it goes back down. <laughs> All right. So they need to fix on speeding it up. They do have this little, uh, I don't know, safe surfing thing that gets installed. I'll show you how that works once we try to uh, run this first link. If you click on that, uh, it's got little settings here. You can uh, turn different things on and off, different filters. Looks like that first one got through. So we'll do some of them one way, and then we'll uh, mess around with IDS and do some of them the other way. Yeah, so this is really, really slow. So far, I haven't seen any pop-ups from Bitdefender. And you can see there is something. PC Hook Launch 32 is running in the background. Hmm. All right, let's just move on. This is new malware. I mean, not new, 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 but new. Okay, looks like that one doesn't work. Okay, so that one was stopped by the... Probably by that little... By this thing, yeah by the little toolbar deal. Or add-on, whatever you want to call it. So that's good. Okay, and so what's that one? Okay, that one is dead. So that one's dead. Okay, this one might actually work. If it does work, maybe. I'm going to try to turn on that uh, IDS in the firewall. Oh, look, it looks like it wants to work. Alright, so let's turn this on, and I'm going to turn it to normal. Okay, so that one got blocked. I don't know what blocked it. I didn't get a pop-up. Everything was quiet in the background. I don't see anything in events. Let's see. Nope. So it either got blocked or it just didn't work. Well, we'll move on, right? That one's dead. And that one doesn't work either. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay. 
so I only got a couple of them to work, but that's not a big deal, because I have a folder full of malware here. Um, I'd say they're all about, I don't know, three or four days old. Some of these did get in, which is kind of interesting, like that one. So what I'm going to do is I have, gee, I don't know, 500 pieces of malware here, something like that. 476. So I'm going to drag this, unpack it, put it on the uh, on the desktop, and we'll see how many it gets rid of. This might take a little bit because it all depends on how fast it can scan while unpacking something. This tells you how fast the scanner is, and it seems to be going fairly slowly. So I'm going to pause the video, and I will be back when this is all done. It might take a while. All right, guys. So it uh, transferred over, and it left over 473. So what I'm gonna do, because um, it's probably just really slow right now, let me check out. Uh, yeah, you can see it's it's slowly scanning in the background. I don't know how long this is going to take. This is something they definitely need to fix. But I'm going to do a right-click scan on the folder and have it scan and see if you know what it removes. And then we'll test out uh, the leftovers to see how it blocks things that it doesn't have in its signature. So let me pause. And uh, that took like 10 minutes or so. But let me pause here, and I'll be back with the results when this is done. Hey, guys. Well, I've been trying for hours to get this thing to finish scanning that folder. And it just can't work. As you can see, the time at 6 o'clock in the afternoon here. And I've been trying all sorts of different things to get this to finish. And it's just unbelievably slow. Um, so... I'm going to stop the scan here. I've been trying again. It says there's 85 hours left. They need to really work on it. It's just thrashing the hard drive continuously in the uh, in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this folder. I just hope I can. And then um, I'm going to see how long a system scan is going to take, if, if it's possible. If it takes too long, then I'm just going to have to finish the review as is, because I'm not wasting any more time on this thing. Um, the beta is way too early. Um, it's got way too many bugs in it, especially in the scanner, where it's un it's almost unusable in my opinion yeah see so I'm not even gonna I'm just gonna finish the review here alright guys well I can't come to any conclusions or anything because uh, this you can see it's doing all sorts of crazy things here anyway um, maybe in the next beta it'll work better so well we won't consider this a review we'll consider it a preview so I'm going to move on to my next piece of software. Hopefully that one I can actually do in a reasonable time. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.